So I have this HP LaserJet P2015DN printer that I got uh, for free and um, when I turn it on it has an error light that indications are it's a formatter board. So this is the behavior before and the first check that I found online says that if you power it off and you hold this green button down while turning it on, wait 50 seconds, it's supposed to do initialization reset. I've tried that and it didn't work. So I'll show you what happens when I do that. Basically nothing happens differently. Right, by my watch it should be about a minute release the button nothing happens so I was just gonna let this thing be in the stay in the junk but um, people have had a lot of reports that if you bake the formatter board in the oven for about eight minutes at 350 degrees it will fix this fish printer so we're gonna try it all right so what I needed to do to take the front cover off was I basically just pried this front forward and I needed a screwdriver to get it under this lip here. The hardest part was along the top here, but once I pried it away, it just pops right off. So this is the formatter board and they say you just need to unhook it. Apparently just all unhook, just pull them up gently. Uh, doesn't look like there's any latches on these, so they should just pull right up. And then we unscrew it. One more connection on the bottom. Alright, so looking at the board, I don't see any obvious signs of cold solder joints, but uh, these are pretty small, tiny uh, solder connections, so it might not be obvious. This is what the back of the board looks like. And here's the front. Most of the components are on the front. Um, from what I've read online, there's been some debate whether you should bake this upside down or right side up. And I think I'm going to go with the right side up method. Um, I found one YouTube poster who wrapped all the plastic connectors in aluminum foil to prevent them from melting, but uh, 
most of the people said they didn't need to do that so I'm not going to bother with that. I am going to remove this little plastic cover if I can here because I think that will melt. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop this up on some um, metal nuts so just to keep it raised up off the cookie sheet for a little bit and bake it in the oven. So here we have the board prepared on the cookie sheet ready to go in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 375. Um, from what I found on the internet people were recommending anywhere between 350 and 425. Um, and from what I, I'm just going to go on intuition here and say 375. Um, I put some nuts on the four corners. Um, I checked to make sure there's no um, traces or anything or anything that those would melt to underneath. And we're just going to pop this in the oven just like this. <coughs> Oops, not like that. <laughs> so we're going to pop this in the oven a little more gently this time. <laughs> and we're going to set our timer for eight minutes. Alright, so the timer just went off, so we are going to very carefully and slowly move this up on, put it on top of the oven to cool. Just looking at it, I do not see any damage to the plastics, which is great. And yeah, once this cools, we'll try it out. All right, so I put the board back in, hooked up all the connections, and here we go. There it is. We have go. And apparently that's how you recover a printer from the trash. <laughs>